Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on board. October 15th, 1932. Precious 25 kilograms of mail made it to the history books after it was delivered by air for the first time at the country from Karachi to Mumbai, marking the inauguration of Indian aviation. It was a day Havilland bus moth that was piloted by our very own Jayari Tata. Mr. Tata was granted a commercial pilot license in 1929, making him the first certified pilot in the country. Tata Air Services was born, which became Tata Airlines and later Air India. Mr. Tata flew today in 1932 from Karachi to Mumbai with a quick refueling stop at Ahmedabad. Now with technology, I have the means and I thought it would be fun to create, uh, correction, recreate the flight on flight simulator. Although we don't have any bus moth in the simulator, but there's something similar to it, uh, the x cub with the similar cruising speeds. And as you can see, it's also a tail dragger like the moth, but obviously it's way too advanced. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Here we are at Jinnah International Airport, Karachi, that was known as Adrig Road Airport. Uh, let's just get airborne first. Now mind it, there were no navigational aids back in the days, so flying was more like following a railway track, a, a highway, cross-checking the maps with beaches, lakes, ponds, uh, a sports stadium and so on and so forth. So basically we used to fly looking down. And hence one of the famous phrases, pilots looking down on people since 1903. <laughs> Now I wonder how he felt knowing that he's the only one flying in the sky. I mean it's a weird feeling. Come to think about it, we're the only one in the Indian skies. Wow. After approximately two and a half hours, I've uh, reached the vicinity of Ahmedabad now. Approaching Ahmedabad, I'm pretty sure he must have recognized the Sabarmati River as one of the landmarks before landing and then uh, having identified the airfield must have circled around to come back to landing but I'm just guessing After landing, the aircraft was refueled and uh, back in those days, the refueling truck would look something like this. <laughs> Sweet, eh? And then he was back in the sky. And approximately two hours later, after identifying Mumbai, circling around and back on the approach for landing.
after landing needless to say he was very well received and uh, that was the beginning of air india and civil aviation in the country and in his own words this is what he said on an exciting october dawn in 1932 a pus moth and i soared joyfully from karachi with our first precious load of mail on an inaugural flight to bombay as we hummed towards our destination at a dazzling 100 miles per hour i breathed a silent prayer for the success of our venture and for the safety of those who worked for it we were a small team in those days we shared successes and failures the joys and the headaches as together we built up the enterprise which later was to blossom into air india and air india international well one of course was air india that was the one thing i may i may feel that i had i was wholly responsible for okay, i hope you enjoyed the video thanks again for flying with your virtual captain i'll catch you in the next adios